buy this or maybe that at Islands of Adventure. Hey, what's going on everybody? And let's start with some brand new merchandise at the trading company. Located at the front of the park, let's step inside and check it out. For $27, this red Islands of Adventure t-shirt. A lot of the elements that make up this island on the t-shirt. There you see Pharaoh's Lighthouse, Cat in the Hat, Jurassic Park, Spider-Man. Ooh, even, even old reference to dragons there, dueling dragons. Ripsaw Falls, the Islands of Adventure logo, which is even like on the sleeve here, Islands of Adventure. And as you can see, the sleeve referenced the number 25. That's because it's the 25th anniversary. So these elements here are original to Islands of Adventure. There is a Tervis for $27 with the same design to commemorate 25 years of Islands of Adventure with its original offerings. And for $55, a black zip up the front hoodie, Universal's Islands of Adventure, 25 years. That is the front. The back is the graphic we've seen on the t-shirt and the mug. You've got uh, the Lost Continent, Toon Lagoon, Marvel, Seuss Landing, and Jurassic Park. And of course, the lighthouse. Here is another hoodie, black. It is not zip up, it's pull over, $55. Choose thy fate. So this is referencing the old attraction, Dueling Dragons. There's the back of it there, Dueling Dragons. Hopefully, I didn't call it the Dragon Challenge when I showed the t-shirt, I can't remember. But since this is old school, it is referencing Dueling Dragons. Here is the t-shirt version. And I believe they are also selling this at the Heraldry in the Lost Continent. Out of the trading company to the shops and the stores of Marvel Superhero Island. And in this segment of buy this or maybe that, I will attempt to do it without showing you any t-shirts. Inside of the store that has the big yellow Wolverine out front, there is for $555, this Doctor Strange, get the glare, no glare please, this Doctor Strange, I guess we call these statues or figurines? The Spider-Man, slightly more expensive at $570. Spider-Man wearing Doctor Strange's cape is $500. This Spider-Man, $800. It also has some Doc Ock features. I bet when you tuned into this video, you did not expect to see Groot here. This Groot statue figurine, $500. From the Disney Plus What If Marvel series, $415 for Captain Carter. $265 for the Spider-Man mask and $250 for the Captain America stealth shield. Oh my, look at this one. It's the zombie Doctor Strange for $675. Freaky looking. This Loki from the TV series, 520 bucks will get you it. This one here comes with two Lokis, the alligator Loki and this human Loki. So it's a little more at $535. Inside of the Spider-Man gift shop, still not gonna show you any t-shirts. Because I have this Spider-Man wonder bug to show you, Spider-Man with a buggy, but who remembers the Saturday morning show wonder bug? I do. Behind glass. For $810, pretty cool looking Venom. The most expensive item so far, this Spider-Man swinging off of these buildings, $1,300. Here's something 
a little more affordable for us. This is a Spider-Man piggy bank for $25. If we buy the other things I've shown you, we're not going to have any change to put into the piggy bank. If you're visiting Islands of Adventure and you get your picture with Spider-Man, here's a nice frame for you to put that picture in. $25 for it. $15 for this Spider-Man mug. There's one side with the wall crawler and the other side with the wall crawler. Here is a Spider-Man backpack that I've never shown you. It's not a lounge fly. It's $65. It's very shiny. Kind of like a it's like a vinyl type material. Side pocket. There's the back straps. Another side pocket with a little Marvel accessory hanging down. $65 for it. The matching purse is $50. Has that little spider accessory there. That's one side of it. Uh, the other side features a zipper pocket. If you buy the backpack, and the purse you're not going to need the wallet the wallet is $45 you're not going to need it because you're not going to have any money to put into it although I mean you might need it for your credit cards you should buy this or maybe that inside of the comics shop like this spider-man life-size bust $1,700 the biggest bust I've seen today. Infinity Ultron, $750. will get you this to stick in your movie room or anywhere in your house, really. You know what this is? For $385, Barber Stanley. Now these are not behind glass. So they're gonna show up a little better, no glare. But there's no pricing, so are they just decoration or for display or are they for sale i don't know this is a comics shop right so they do have comics for you to purchase tons of different titles superhero comics about four dollars a piece there's the new mutants x-men phoenix song Avengers and Moon Girl. Oh my goodness. All types of titles. A basket of Spider-Man plushes. $17 for a single Spider-Man plush. Do you get a discount if you buy the whole basket? People want to know. Well, I did it. I made it through the whole segment of Marvel Buy This or Maybe That without showing you a t-shirt. When at Islands of Adventure, maybe you want to buy a game pass for the Midway games. We've got a deal here. Single play is $10. $30 for five game plays. 60 bucks gets you 10 game plays and comes with a complimentary gift. Buy this or maybe that inside of Toon Lagoon. This structure here. It's the main store in Toon Lagoon. Let's check it out. $27 for this t-shirt that puts your head on Popeye's body. Here's a yellow t-shirt that I should probably buy, $27. It's a, it's a little thicker than what you get in a t-shirt. That makes me think that maybe um, not as much shrinkage and it will like stand the test of time. Multiple washings. Here's a little sleep shirt or pajama shirt. It's Betty Boop's body. You can have your head there. But isn't isn't the most like iconic feature of Betty Boop her head? So um $26 for this Betty Boop ball cap. Pink, white, black. There's the back of it says Betty Boop. Kind of has like a varsity look to it. And for $37, this shirt perfectly matches the ball cap. That's the front of it. There's that number 30 on the back. The cap has the number 30. Get yourself an ensemble here. 
$65 for the Betty Boop Varsity Jacket to go with your shirt and your ball cap. There's the back, says Boop. The uh, number 30 is on the sleeve there. We'll skip over the Minions section. Show it another time. $25 for the Hello Kitty ET mashup. And also $25, the Hello Kitty and Sally Gator mashup. That's right. Shout out to our friend Sally Gator. We're thinking of you right now. Also, also, Hello Kitty and Marty McFly mashup. Back to the future. I'm going to stretch and call this a Legend of Zelda pixel sword. $10 for the pixel sword. Legend of Zelda or not. There is the shirt I showed you earlier, Islands of Adventure 25 year anniversary. Now if I can get this to focus, and I think I have, there's also a pin version for $15. So get yourself the Islands of Adventure 25th anniversary pin. We're going to save the What's the Matter You store, although I love the name, for another time in favor of showing you a few things inside of Gasoline Alley. Buy this or maybe that. Ice cream treats, $5.79 plus tax. I bet you didn't know I was gonna show you ice cream treats. But they're here inside the Gasoline Alley store. They sell a lot of beach towels in here because, you know, Toon Lagoon is the place for the water rides. You have Captain America, SpongeBob, Simpsons, Universal Studios, Popeye, Betty Boop, Spider-Man, E.T. $28 for a towel, I think, but they have a deal. Three beach towels for $66. And a wall of flip-flops and slides. Prices vary. The cheapest pair I saw was $24. The most expensive I saw, $28. Going to ride Ripsaw Falls when visiting? It's going to get you soaking wet unless you buy this poncho. Child, $11. Adult, $13. Kiox here has more than just your, uh, your poncho. They have some plushes, like this donkey plush for $15 for the donkey plush. Gingy, how much is Gingy? Oh, Gingy's a little more. $16.95 for Gingy. So in other words, you can buy this, or maybe that. With Skull Island, Reign of Kong, you do not exit through a gift shop, rather you exit by a gift cart which has a t-shirt of Kong's facial expressions for $18. That's what it looks like when he's angry, happy, confused, excited, sleepy, and frustrated. Buy this necklace, or that necklace, or this one, or that one, it doesn't matter. The prices looks like they range between like 10 and 13 dollars for these necklaces you took a florida vacation and forgot to pack sunglasses what's the matter you the sunglasses here range between 19 and 30 dollars i might look good in those a couple of shirts i want to show you at this kiosk now they're not just kong centric just because they're like military themed or colored they sell them here, but I really like this t-shirt for $27. I might get myself a version of this, the 2XL. Really sharp. There's a girl's shirt, kind of like a half shirt, kind of like a half shirt or a, a crop top for $35. The shirt I like is unisex, so I could get that. And I may, I may get that one day. Buy this or maybe that at Jurassic Park. For example, inside of the Jurassic Outfitters, they have a Dennis Nedry figurine for $650. It even has a little can of Barbasol. And speaking of a can of Barbasol that can hold embryos, we have one here for $550. Here's a dinosaur plush for $19. For some reason, I want to name it Gertie. And this toy dinosaur, which does make noise, I can't even say the name of this one. 
the Rizinosaurus. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to name it Logan. You, you guess why. Guess why I'm going to name it Logan. Thanks for watching another episode of Buy This or Maybe That. If you're wondering what to watch next, try the video popping up on your screen right now.